literally been walking around for almost an hour trying to find this bus stop. Like, I was at one and then I kept on going because I found a better one and it wasn't coming. It was, I feel like I was just walking forever and ever, but I'm finally here now. I have to wait 10 minutes. I'm in the right place. I just don't know if I'm, if I'm on the right side or at the right stop. I just saw one go past, which I might have had to be on, but I don't know. Right at Lewis Armstrong Park, so I might as well have a quick look before I walk to find breakfast. Finally starting my day officially, and it's like maybe 10.30. This is Louis Armstrong, but it doesn't have a sign or anything, which is a bit weird. There we go. They're pretty at night, I reckon, with all the lights and everything. But let's go up here. Beautiful flowers, beautiful fountain. Right, <laughs> that's a nice little walk in a beautiful little park. Time to get some breakfast. I'm so hungry and ready for this. Finding my way back to the end.
So it's now like 9.20, I just had a shower, washed my hair, I usually don't like washing my hair so late, especially because there's no hair dryer to dry my hair, because um, I like to dry it, it's just really thick and I don't like going to bed and having um, wet hair, but I really needed to wash it, and I just realised that, so I walked into the house and it's like pitch black and I go into the kitchen and the light doesn't have to turn on. I tried the living room. I went into the dorm and that one worked. Um, the bathroom works, but my room and the kitchen and the living room doesn't work for some reason. And um, which is a bit of an annoying. I mean, I messaged the guy about it. He said to come in the morning and just to use. The lamp that's why I showed you when I was feeling my water bottle on and I have mine on. Um but I found tonight I like wet my towel and sleep in the evening because I don't know it's not too bad. It's a little sticky but I'm hoping that I can still sleep. Um but anyways I've got another busy day planned tomorrow and then I should have everything ticked off my list of things I wanted to see and foods I wanted to try. At least I figured out where the nearest bus stop is for tomorrow. Um, yeah, you know, it's always like that when you're traveling and especially with me, I'm just terrible with directions and stuff. I don't know where I'm going half the time. So this was definitely a learning experience. I might do a New Orleans travel guide um, pretty soon takes a separate video and talk about like public transport, food and things to do and see um, if you guys are interested in that. But right now I'm just going to edit this video and maybe watch some food I might have to read a little bit maybe and then head to sleep. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.